Hey everybody, welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramph. And I'm also your host, Noel McFoy. That was Asaph Adonai on piano. Asaph, what song is that? That is called The Prelude in C by Johann Sebastian Bach. Oh, nice! Wow. So we have a lot of stuff going on today on our very for on our very uh, close to the second year anniversary of our yeah. morning show, Wake Up Missoula. So I'm excited for that. It's Friday, everyone, mm -hmm. as well. We so. have some art clips of art museums that are basically going to be changing it up after today. It's like the last day to really get a good chance to check out some of these art. And we have guests on today. We have uh, Leah Fitch and Anna Semple to talk about. Uh, a Missoula Forum for Children and Youth. Awesome. So, Very important things. Yep. Starting early to get your children to be a productive adults, which is, you know, obviously we maybe are lacking those United States at some point. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so we will hear from them in a few minutes. Um, but we, uh, you know, it's Friday, so TGIF. Uh, Scott, what are you going to do this weekend? I am um, going to do a uh, promotion of our summer camps and our uh, oh stop God. animation camp. I am too. What? <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to do that together. So starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. at the Missoula Children's Theater just off of Broadway. You can't miss it. Um, we're doing a, uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, summer camp and a lot of organizations geared towards children, especially during first summer camps. So, um, and we're going to have like a stop animation um, kind of like set up there to promote not only drop-in animation camp, but our uh, summer Stop Animation Camp Extravaganza, which is happening July, sometime in mid-July. Yeah. We're going to be promoting our uh, wildlife documentary filmmaking. We're going to be um, promoting Stop Animation. And, of course, finally, we're going to be introducing our very um, uh, new um, directing um, video making camp, Zombie Movie Making. Zombie Movie Making Workshop. Workshop. Not or a camp. Uh, we can call it Zombie uh, Movie Making Extravaganza. Extra no, see, see, that'll turn kids off. That turns me off. Extravaganza? Extravaganza? Yeah. No. What about Never program? What about program? Program or workshop? Like There's teams. work. Work I don't know. I've, workshops, and then work and shop? Workshops sound better than camp, you know, for teens. Like, if you're like 16, 15, you don't want to go to a camp. You want to go to a workshop. Um. Yeah. But, but of course, uh, the weather is looking fairly nice today. It's, oh, it's it? it gonna try to touch the 60s. No way. Yeah, it's going to be a high of 57 degrees outside. And you know it's true because it's so cold this morning, only because there's no cloud coverage. Yep. And because there's no ca cloud coverage, therefore, it's going to be warmer outside. Whoa, yeah, is of that course, how it works? But of course, this weekend you have a chance, 80% chance of showers, and it's gonna be very breezy for, coming from the uh, valley of the I mean the Valley of the Five Valleys. The Valley of the Five Valleys. Yes. It's gonna be quite breezy. Well, because of all this nice weather, we have got no snow. So no you guys snow. take a look at our snow report. Uh, on all of our local uh, ski hills and area ski hills, we just don't have any snow. Nope. Yeah, and it looks like all their snow is melting too. Their ba lower and upper base depths are shrinking. So you guys, you better get out there because your days are numbered. Yeah, it's with totally a sixty numbered. degree day. Yeah, Good and of course uh, we do have uh, uh, the winners of the Missoula County Spelling Bee, oh. and um, of course there's two of them are going to be going to, uh, and it's uh, the it's Remmers and Broom. Okay. And it's it's in the, it was in the Missoulian today, but of course we have the video. Of course we filmed this. But our very own Ron Scholl filmed this. I had a little music to like spice it up a little bit. Okay. But yeah. of course here is um, the um, the the stress and the uh, a lot of the um, <laughs> intensity that comes along with spelling bees. And without further ado, here is a little taste of the Missoula County spell Missoula County spelling bee that was done just yesterday. Mm. Quill, Q-U-E-L-L, -L. quill, ravioli, R-A-V-I-O-L-I, -I. ravioli, T-E-R-I-S-K, asterisk, pistachio, triumvirate, triumvirate, perga, perga, can I get the definition please? S-E-L-T-Z-E-R, seltzer, N-A-T-I-C, S-U-K-I Y-A-K-I Sukiyaki Chimps Chimps C-H-I-N-T-Z Chimps 
You gotta watch out for the high stakes world of spelling bees. She's on crutches. Oh, man. You know, it's 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 crazy. You know, like you know that you know she must have broken her leg um, spelling. Yeah, it's insane. You know, those were she, words. Those spelling words, kids are hardcore. Yeah. you gotta watch out for them. Yeah. they'll break your knees. They'll break each other's knees just to get the word spelled correctly. <laughs> it's the high stakes world of spelling bees. It's just out of this world. It's insane. It's a high stakes world of the spelling bee competition, and then be, and both of them are going to the state competition. This is like a preliminary round, and there's always like two that get sent to the state. And Good then we'll job, figure out kids. who's going to be the state. And then from there, it'll go to National Spelling Bee, which, of course, everybody gets excited about. Yeah. And, of course, once you're, uh, I think it's like 14, 15, you're too old. Oh, just like modeling. Just like um, <laughs> ballet. Ballet, <laughs> modeling, <laughs> anything. Yeah. They only want you when you're 17. Because when you're 21, you're no fun. It's a song. <laughs> it is. It's a great song. But we should bring our guests out. We should bring so, our guests yeah. out. And of course, okay. we do have the art clip. And this is, I believe this is the uh, the Gallery of the Visual Arts. No, this is at the Clay Studio. Ooh, International Cup. And it's International Cup. We've been showing this pretty much all month. But this is the last day you guys get to look at um, cups designed by all sorts of community yeah, members. Yeah, different artists from around the world uh, d were told to, you know, design a cup. So this is International Cups. Yep, and last day, video. last day is today, today to last check it out. Day. Spend your whole day there. Just quit work. Yep, and when we come back, we'll have our guests um, from the Missoula, Children, uh, Missoula Forum for Children and Youth. All right, stay with us. We're here with uh, Leah and Anna, and they're here to talk about the Missoula Forum for Children and Youth, and they're celebrating 20 years of existence. <laughs> so tell us what you guys are all about. Uh, we're all about substance abuse prevention work. Um, so that's, and also about coalition building and community. So that's pretty much what we're about. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so what you guys primarily work with, what age group? Well, we work with um, a variety of people, and so um, we work with community leaders, we work with law enforcement, and so, and then we also work with organizations that work directly with youth, but primarily what we do is coalition building. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. And we're really trying to do prevention work from, you know, ages zero to 18, um, really looking at how we can take care of our kids at a young age and give them what they need um, and support them through decision making when they turn into teenagers and help parents build that relationship. Um, so that kind of happens in a few ways. We do outreach to families, we do presentations in schools, and we um, kind of do professional development to the people who work with kids so that they are you know, can build their skills up. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I, uh, one of my questions I had earlier was like, what is the difference between now compared to when you guys first started? Right, so uh, obviously we started back in 1996, um, and what we were primarily looking at um, was substance abuse and also violence prevention. 
so. And we've had several different work groups through the past. We've talked um, about teenage pregnancy. Um, we've talked about um, volunteerism among youth. Um, but now primarily our, our focus is um, pretty much just substance abuse um, and looking at also why does that happen? Um, so Anna's work is primarily looking at um, you know, w how can we prevent trauma from happening to kids early on? Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to put a... Yeah, just understanding that one of the factors, or a lot of factors in whether children and, and youth use substances when they get to an age where they're thinking about that, but one of them is um, whether they experience trauma as children. And so how can we prevent that? And in preventing that, we're actually helping them have a healthier life in a lot of different ways. Um, and then also, helping them get ready for kindergarten because if you are, you know, developing it at a, in a way where you're able to gump, jump into kindergarten and learn what you need to learn and feel connected to your teacher, then you're going to have a lot easier time engaging in school, feeling like you're part of something, um, not struggling the entire time. So really starting young is such a great way. Um, and then helping families have that positive interaction with kids so they have a good relationship and they can talk about things as kids grow up. Mm -hmm. um, and so you guys, do you go into homes as well as schools? Uh, we don't generally go into homes. I mean, Anna does work with um, a nurse uh, nurse family partnership. Um, a, a variety of home visiting yeah. programs, yeah. We work with the programs that do the work with the okay. families. Yeah, yeah. we so kind of help coordinate because there's so many services in Missoula. Mm -hmm. And so how do you get everyone on the same page, not duplicating services, referring to each other like they should be referring to each other. Um, we have a great group of collaborative people in Missoula, but there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then our colleague Brandy, um, she runs the Missoula Underage Substance Abuse um, Prevention Coalition. She also does um, some presentations within schools. And so she talks with kids directly about just decision making, not necessarily like, don't do drugs, but more like um, really helping them kind of think about that. And then bringing, um, and then giving them materials to give to their parents so the parents can have that conversation as well. Yeah, uh, I, I do I do the flagship program, so I mm -hmm. work with a lot of kids after school. And yeah. a lot of times, sometimes they come up with like random questions, and I ask them, I was like, what do you think you should do? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I, the only advice was like, I, I try not to give them too much advice, because a lot of times, you know, if, if you're telling kids too much what to do because right. there's always a huge trend of you know kids saying you can't do this you can't do this you can't do that you can't do that mm -hmm. so I think um, well one of the things that I should tell the kids is like if you feel like something is wrong mm -hmm. then you should just let me know yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. and I feel like that's the best way to start is just like younger and helping them with decision making mm -hmm. rather than being like this is wrong this is right like mm -hmm. talk to them like why is that wrong mm -hmm. why is that right and how will that affect your life if you do that yeah. so I think that's yeah. just great mm -hmm. it's a good it's a good way to approach children I think because yeah. there's like a lot of decision making that the kids really have like especially when they're young he's like should I go on the teeter-totter the swing yeah or the slide. God, wouldn't that be awesome uh, yeah, that, if that was like the uh, biggest yeah. decision we had to make in a day? Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. I think a little bit of that too <laughs> with young kids is, you know, somebody hurt my feelings. How do I handle that? Yeah. You know, and how do I, do I lash out or do I talk to them in a nice voice and say that that didn't feel good? So I think some of that decision making comes into recognizing what doesn't feel good and how do you handle that? Yeah. Um, yeah. And really the younger kids try alcohol or other substances, the more likely they are to have a lifelong addiction problem. So really, just thinking about the lifelong impacts that things could have is really what we're trying to help them understand. Like, mm -hmm. these are the stats, these are the facts, you get to make your decisions, um, and you know how to think about your body and what makes it feel good and what doesn't. And I think yeah. that uh, one mm -hmm. of the bigger issues that are happening now is prescription drug yeah. um, yes. abuse. Mm -hmm. Because so you have to, you understand, like, a lot of times when you like if like like a kid's in an accident and they have to take you know like uh, oxycodone or whatever mm -hmm. like that there's there's a chance of getting addicted but also it's like encouraged that they actually take it from mm -hmm. a, like trained professionals right exactly. and then so you, it's kind of it really confuses them a lot it's, yeah. it's can be really confusing so what is your guys' approach on that yeah. um, so we actually have a prescription drug um, task force that works primarily on um, talking with the community about proper use and proper um, disposal um, so making sure that you know once you're done with the prescription that you throw it away properly which is actually you're not supposed to throw it in the toilet because um, it actually gets in the rivers oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. I've heard so of that. <laughs> there's actually some drops 
boxes. There's one at the police station, one at Curry Health Center, and then there's another one somewhere else in town. But um, so yeah, just making sure you drop those off. Mm -hmm. um, and then knowing that also, um, like just having parents talking with kids about what's the appropriate dosage and not um, using drugs from their friends as well. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, you guys. So how can people get in contact with you <coughs> if they want to like have get your advice, your services? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so you can go to our website, so it's missoulaforum.org, um, or you can call us at our office. Um, I don't know if you want me to get that number or not. 258-3020. Uh, yeah. And then do you guys do like community lectures? and? Yes. And, okay. So Anna does a couple of um, different trainings. Yeah, I do a training on the adverse childhood experience study, so how childhood adverse experiences can affect brain development and what that means. So when you're working with kids or adults who have maybe been through that, how do you change your approach in working with them um, so it meets their needs, really. And then also a child sexual abuse prevention um, training as well, like how, what can you do to shore up your organization or your child's schedule so that you're not leaving room for something to happen that could be really detrimental. Because um, child sexual abuse is a big indicator of a lot of other you know, issues later on. It just makes a lot of things harder for kids later. Yeah. Um, and then Brandy does a couple different um, um, presentations as well. She talks about prescription drug use. Um, she also talks specifically, like I said, about decision making. Um, and so talking with kids about that as well. Um, and I'm trying media, to think for kids, we have a media, media literacy. literacy presentation that kind of talks about, hey, who's making your decisions? Are you or you know this company spending mm -hmm. billions to get you to do what they want? Right? I just yeah. love that. I feel like that's so great, that, mm -hmm. that approach. Because I, I feel like, is this approach like new? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it is kind of new. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel, you know, when I was younger, it was never like, no one asked me about my decisions or my choices. They just told me. Yeah, it was like, you know? dare. Yeah. So I like, dare. how was I supposed to know without actually like doing it? Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. And no one gave me the choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and they show actually that the the their program in the '80s actually um, helped some kids, but uh, the people that were actually more likely to use drugs anyway, it actually made them more likely to use. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, it's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Either it works. Or yeah. Either yeah. it worked too well or not well enough. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Schools where they had a good relationship with because it was presented by police officers. Mm -hmm. I think it showed some increase of a positive relationship with the police, yeah. but not substance abuse prevention. No. So yeah. it, it yeah. had like some positive effects in some places that was absolutely not what it was intended mm -hmm. to do. Yeah, I always had great positive experience. Like when the police <laughs> ever came down to the, you know, like visit the kids and all that stuff, they had their like gun in the side. It's oh, like, yeah. Whoa. Especially if you're in Montana. <laughs> Especially if you're in Montana. It's like everyone respects people with guns. That's yeah. just the way that people in Montana are. It's just like. So what are you guys doing to celebrate your 20 years? Oh, well, we're having a celebration today over awesome. at the Garlington Lone and Robinson building. Um, we're going to have an open house. We're going to have displays of, you know, all that kind of history of what we've done in the past um, and all of, all of what we're doing now. Um, we're going to celebrate all of our partners that we have now and um, from way back. And so we're really hoping that we're going to have a big group of people that have been through with the forum for years and years. We have so many, we have hundreds of people in Missoula that have been a part of the Missoula Forum in the past and so we're really celebrating all of them. Yep. And we so, have cake. And we have yeah, cake. Yeah. <laughs> Important. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and since you guys have been around so long, have, do you guys have any like uh, kids that you've had since they were uh, zero or one? Oh my gosh. Well I feel like because we're mainly working with organizations, they have kids that they've you know seen grow up mm -hmm. um, we work more with the people in the organization so it's really fun to see in that sense like people who started out everyone has worked at early head start and my early head childhood mm -hmm. coalition and then like oh they moved to the YMCA or they move so people um, moving throughout their careers but we're mainly working with the adults in this case and then going and doing presentations with high schoolers in a smaller amount of time so cool yeah that's awesome you guys you're doing such great work for our community oh, our youth yeah well is there anything else you'd like to touch on before we let you go um i think so yeah how about you uh, i'll plug your number and uh where people can find more information yeah so our number is 258-3020 and also you can go on our website um, missoulaforum.org yep. awesome. um, and if you have a kid in your life age zero to eight and you're interested in what services are out there because missoula has a ton of them um go ahead and check out healthystartmissoula.org it's one of our other websites mm -hmm. yes yeah. um, great thanks ladies thanks so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. we'll be right back after this everyone
Hey, yo, yo, what's up, you guys? Okay, so I got some stuff going on in your community. I don't know where, where's my camera? This one, that one? It's the third, it's this the tall one. one. Awesome, okay. Where am I? Okay, cool. So you guys, I've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, it's Friday, as uh, you already know. So TGIF, I'm really glad that it is. And it's a, gonna be a beautiful day and a beautiful weekend. So that's all we can really ask for. Uh, so starting at 10 a.m. at the Missoula Public Library. Well, actually, we start our morning off at the Missoula Public Library. These next few events are for there. So uh, we've got our food for fines at the Public Library starting at 10 a.m. So if you've got uh, fines, you can br have them waived if you uh, bring, you know, some some food. They also have their open time in the makerspace at 10 a.m. 10 to 12, you can learn how to use the equipment and work on a project of your choice. Tiny Tales is at 10.30. This is uh, in, let's see, usually held downstairs in large meeting room. It's for ages of birth to three years, and they sing songs and hear stories and finger plays or nursery rhymes. Family Story Time is on the Dragon Rug. It includes art and an activity at 10.30. Um, and then we go over the Holiday Inn downtown at the park at 10.30 a.m. They've got a doc shop workshop, um, and it's called Witness. So Witness is the movie about the woman in the 1950s that was murdered and 38 people saw it and no one did a single thing. Um, so this is a seminar and it trains and supports activists and citizens around the world to use video safely, eth ethically, and effectively to expose human rights abuse and fight for human rights change. The rice table is at the Children's Museum at 11. You can go and sift and scoop and pour on their sensory rice table. Uh, over at Spectrum, also at 11, their uh, Discovery Bunch is Pressure, and the Brain Labs is Plastic Brains. Uh, at the Radius Gallery, they've got a surrealism art show. It's called Last Best Dream, Surrealism Here and Now. Uh, it's a themed exhibit, and it runs February 26th to April 15th, so a good month and a half. And it has got an assemble of three 2D and 3D works by 14 artists. Yarn is at, yarns is at the public library at noon. This is for all those knitters and crocheters to get together and craft and gossip and eat their lunch. Uh, and then over in the Don Anderson Hall at the university, they've got a doc shop interviewing uh, tricks of the trade. So uh, my homeboy, Larry Aberson, which is the dean of the School of Journalism, he is going to discuss techniques for getting the most illuminating interviews out of your subjects, which is a, I should probably go to this, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, over at the Public Library, we've got Teen Writers Group at 3.30. This is for teens who need a place to write or hang out or eat some chocolate, yeah. Um, and then at four over the UC Theater, there is a workshop. Andi Timoner, uh, she is a two-time Sundance Grand Jury Prize-winning filmmaker and a camera woman and lots of other things. Um, and so she is going to talk about how to make a great documentary and how the making of a powerful nonfiction feature. Yeah, how to make a great doc. Uh, at the Bar Movement Studio at 4.30, there's Ula Dance Class. And then at five, we head back over to the library where they're always having lots of fabulous events. Uh, and they have introduction to programming in Java for teens. Yeah, uh, that's in their makerspace. Traditional Irish music is going on at the Union Club at six. And then at 6.30, there's a public planetarium show in the Payne Family American uh, Native American Center, room 13. Uh, tickets have to be purchased in advance via Eventbrite. Uh, but it's on the Milky Way and beyond. I bet that if you just like look at the University of Montana website and go, you can like type it in and find out more info. Yeah. Uh, at the Hive and Skate Club, they've got a dance party for teens. Whoa, that sounds cool. Uh, so ages 15, so if you're older or younger, don't go. Uh, they're gonna have lights and booming sound and so much dancing, you'll actually get tired. It's good, wholesome fun. So eight to midnight, uh, $8 cash only, please. That sounds awesome. I wish I was 15. Actually, no, I'm so glad I'm not 15, but it still sounds fun. Uh, over at Monks, they've got Northwest Fresh and an evening of sensational beats, uh, bar cheap drinks, beer pong, and more. Uh, so they're featuring Mark Myrad, Rooster, and TAC 45. Uh, 21 plus, it doesn't look like there's a cover. 
Reverend Slinky is playing at the Top Out Lounge at 9.30 for only $5. That sounds good. And then Gladys Friday plays at the Union Club at 9.30. Tom Katz play at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Um, and then over the house at 10 o'clock, we've got Sasha Bell Band, Grey Gone and Twig, and Ancient Forest. Uh, they play at 10, and it's 21 up, and there's no cover. Uh, so that's what I've got going on for you uh, for your Friday events. Up next, we've got a staff segment. This would be relatively short, this story here that I'm going to do, because I don't know how well known this lady is, but she is considered and called the first lady of the Oregon. And of course, we are talking about Diane Joyce Bish, known to the world as Diane Bish. Diane Bish is an American organist, composer, as well as executive producer of a television program called Joy of Music. And as a concert organist, she performs frequently at recitals throughout North America and Europe. She graduated from the Wichita East High School in Kansas in 1959, and she studied organ as a student with Dorothy Addy and Mildred Andrews growing up, and she became a recipient of the Fulbright and French government grants for study in Amsterdam and in Paris, and in a course, from there, she launched off her organ career. Let's catch her in action, and you'll see a clip of her. So this gives you an idea of her work as far as an organist and um, her television show Joy of Music as of 2009 it's broadcast on the Catholic TV network EWTN, the Trinity Broadcasting Network TBN and um, WLHG-CD as well as um, various PBS stations and she still continues to do concerts taped all over the world, North America, Europe, and uh, as of 2009, she has recorded 500 episodes of her television show, demonstrating um, different pipe organs and digital organs. So that kind of gives you an idea. And finally, um, beginning in the 1970s, she served for 20 years as the organist an artist in residence at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida with Dr. D. James Kennedy. So again, to end this, I don't know how well known she is, but in small circles, this lady rules. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that, Diane Bish, so you, your, your audience could check her out. Nice, thank you very much. Yeah, sure. That's awesome, first lady of the organ. First lady of the organ, yes, nice. and she can play everything. <laughs> what a great gal. <laughs> uh, every every time I hear the organ, it's always um, synonymous now with uh, take me out to the ball game. <laughs> well, she's a little bit more intense than take me out to the ball game. Yeah, I bet she is. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, we have more events for Saturday. Um, and, uh, you know, you guys know it's a documentary film fest going on. So if you guys want to find out more about those movies, just go to their website and you'll find out some. Um, BigSkyFilmFest.org. Yeah, I do believe so, yeah. I hope you guys have been watching some. I haven't at all. But there's a movie I plan to go on to on Sunday. So I'll get my fix then. So starting at 8.30 a.m., or at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning on Saturday. They've got a, in the UM Adams Center parking lot is where we're gonna, where they're gonna be. It's put on by the Five Valleys Audubon. So they are going to view winter birds of Mission Valley. So they're gonna go view raptors and other wintering birds. Uh, they can also, participants can also meet at the Senex station on the south side of Ronan at 9 a.m. The field trip will return to Missoula by five. So dress, dress warmly and bring a lunch. Breast warmly. Breast warmly and bring a lunch. <laughs> uh, at 10 a.m. is the Missoula Winter Public Market over at the Hive uh, tomorrow. 
And then also at 10 at Kearns Aquatic Center is the Cross Country Ski Classes. This is for Advanced and Backcountry Nordic. So you can go and learn and improve your technique. Um, and so they it's from 10 a.m. to 2. All programs meet at the Kearns Aquatic Center unless otherwise noted. Programs are, for, are pretty much for ages 18 and older. Um, and so it's only 22 bucks with a city card. Only $22 with a city card, it's 20 bucks. So bring out, out warm, dress warmly for outdoor winter activity yeah. and bring a lunch and water. You know what Nordic skiing is? It's you just get a shoestring and two pieces of wood. <laughs> Great. <laughs> that sounds hard. This is, this is how I go on the hoverboard, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I make it look good. You should make a video of just you just hoverboarding around. I do all the time. I know. I love this hoverboard. The other day, I uh, oh, because it's perfect. I've been going outside hoverboarding yeah. like crazy. If you haven't seen me, I'm out. He's out there. <laughs> I'll probably go again tonight sometime. Like yeah. right at, when I come back from she only um, hoverboards at flagship. Night. Hoverboards at night. <laughs> Night hoverboard band guy. Person. <laughs> Over at the Lifelong Learning Center, they are going to be teaching brick stitch earrings. Um, it's a bead weaving stitch of unknown origin. Pretty cool. So all, supp all supplies are included, uh, but you have to bring some scissors. Yeah, it's kind of like fringe earrings. That sounds cool. Uh, also at the Lifelong Learning Center, 10 a.m., is pruning small trees and shrubs. Uh, you can learn easy maintenance and healthcare techniques for maintaining small, tree, small trees and shrubs in your home <laughs> landscape. Um, yeah, you can learn the best tool, tools to use, when to prune, various techniques of pruning shapes, all this crazy stuff. Uh, also, the second part of the class will offer off-site for hands-on pruning, so dress for the weather. But it's supposed to be beautiful today, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It, it may snow tomorrow. Uh, at Cabela's, they've got Captains and Guides Weekend at Cabela's. Uh, so you can visit local guides from Montana's Outfitters and Guides Association, local ranches, and conservation groups. Uh, they'll also be processing a real leg of lamb. Cool. So a bunch of seminars. That sounds awesome. All day long. Check it out. Sounds Greek. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Barn Movement Studio has got a Filipino martial arts intro. It starts at 10 a.m. And wow. then also, I know. There's a lot of stuff happening Saturday morning. Before 10 a.m. So, guys, don't go out Friday night. No, you know. don't. Because you'll miss it all. Uh, also, at Missoula Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, they've got Ooh. a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu seminar. Uh, this, they are located at 2301 Palmer Street. It's only $30 per attendee, um, and you can just, you know, learn all about it. You know the, you know the difference uh, between Brazilian? Oh, it looks like our thing froze. Oh, uh -oh. shit. You know the thing that's different about uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, jiu yeah, well, Scott? karate thing, uh, <laughs> and uh, other forms of it is that a Brazilian is all about the booty. <laughs> it's a booty smack. Booty. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we are frozen. Yeah, we are frozen. So well, we'll stay on this camera and then we'll make it work. Yeah. Good thing good. It, uh, we passed ASAP's event. Otherwise, yeah. I don't have to hold up my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's never a dull moment on Wake Up Missoula. Never a dull moment. Oh, nice. We could do this. Yeah, I just zoom out. Yeah, we'll just zoom out. Get ASAP. Oh, good. ASAP, you got to lean in. Oh, perfect. Oh, we're yeah. fine. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good. Now. So okay. we're going to try it from this angle. Great. So uh, at MCT, like Scott was saying earlier in our show, Scott and I are going to be over at MCT tomorrow um, from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. They're having their Summer Starts Registration Fair. So they're promoting, they're having a bunch of different organizations from around town that do summer camps for yep. kids. And they're going to be uh, promoting their their summer camps. This is mostly like really super pre-registration yeah. for summer because... Spring hasn't really even started yet. No. So it's free and open to the public. Uh, we will be there from 10 to 1, so you can come on by and see what we're all about. Uh, yeah, and see other camps, and it should be a good time. So all day long tomorrow, we've got nonstop kid action from like 10 a.m. to 5.30. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then also the Public Library Food for Fines ends tomorrow at the Public Library. Uh, so, once again, if you've got overdue fees, go on there, bring some, bring some food, and they'll waive them. Um, and then uh, there is a class or discussion called Animal Communication Fact or Fiction. It's at 10.30 a.m. And uh, Janet Roper will be talking about animal communication, what it is, does it work, and why it works. Uh, it doesn't really have where it's located, so 
maybe just type it in online and you'll find out where the event is. Yeah, you can Google pretty much anything. Anything. Find out anything. anything. Uh, over at the Missoula Insectarium, you can learn to float like a water strider. Uh, so if you ever want to know how water striders float in turbulent water, you can check out how at 11. <laughs> uh, at Traveler's Rest State Park, they've got Trekker Kids. Make your own winter bird feeder. So you can go on down there at 11 a.m. Uh, it's $2 per child. Uh, adults are free. And you learn how to make your own winter bird feeder. Nice. That sounds nice. Yeah. Uh, there's a fly fishing film tour at the Paro Ferroplex Theater at 11 a.m. Uh, I don't know where that is at all. I didn't even know it Ferroplex, existed. Ferroplex, which is in Hamilton. Oh, okay, great. In Hamilton. So out in Hamilton. They've got a fly fishing film tour, probably because they couldn't put it in Missoula because we have the Doc Film Fest. Yep. Uh, so $14 for adults in advance, $15 for adults at the door, $10 for ages 12 and under. Yeah. Um, so at the Learning Center at Red Willow, they've got a class called From Climate Despair to Joy. You, It's $75 for a one-day workshop, and it, you can, uh, it pretty much gives your, brings your love of nature full circle. Uh, so you'll ground yourselves in the inexplicable wonder of nature and safely consider the painful places climate change can evoke. Four so for seventy five dollars you can pretty much just like be sad about climate change with some other people. Yeah, for four hours. For four hours. Wow, that sounds like an enthralling Saturday. Yes. Uh, at Natural Grocers at 2 p.m. tomorrow, they've got a vegan paleo salad dressings and dips. Ooh. So if you're a vegan or paleo, you can go on down there and uh, learn how to make some healthy dips for yourself. Was paleo is kind of like level five vegan. Kind of. Well, paleo yeah. is just like, it's not, it's just, it's eating like what co cavemen ate. So it's like berries oh, and nuts, nuts and like veggies and meat. And yeah. that's it. Like no dairy, no bread, nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, at the Missoula Art Museum at 3 p.m. tomorrow, they've got their open figure drawing. Uh, this is from a live model. And so you have to be 18 and older because, you know, they're nude. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Eight dollars if you're a member, and ten bucks if you're not. From three to five. Uh, over at the Missoula Children's Theater tomorrow at six thirty, they've got a Missoula Ski Education Foundation event. Uh, so it's a great fundraiser featuring the band Bowl Tones, Food from Five on Black, and awesome action mm -hmm. items. Thirty-five dollars per person can be purchased online. Cool. Uh, at the open space at the University of Montana in the Park TV building, their open space dance studio, they have Spring Studio Works at 6.30 and 8.30. So you can check out what the School of Dance and Theater has been doing. Uh, and then we've got music going on tomorrow night. So at the Palace Lounge, they've got their Rock Lotto 5. Um, and so if you guys don't know what Rock Lotto is, a bunch of different bands from around Missoula put their names in a hat. Oh. And then they choose like a drummer, a lead singer, a guitarist, and a bass player. Yep. From each, yeah, from each one. And so they just kind of like all go in a band and they see if their music works and then, you know, someone wins. So it's 10 of Missoula's bands and they're put performing music of Led Zeppelin classics and deep cuts alike. Wow, that'll be pretty cool. So it's $8. Um, it'll start at 9 p.m. Doors are at 8. Um, and it benefits the Music Care Montana, which provides live musical performances to Missoula area residents living in retirement communities and skilled nursing facilities. That sounds awesome. So some of the bands are Hot Air Buffoon, Mud Shark, Lit Zipline, Flint Water, John Payne, Faya, The Sex Police, Backdoor Man and The Secret Shakes, and When the Dental Dam Breaks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then at the Real Lounge, they've got The Cog is Dead with Marshall Catch and Pale People starting at 9. This is a Florida-based electric rock group. Uh, Time War Party is starting at Monks at 9 p.m. This is, there'll be lots of entertainment and prizes. There's going to be airbrush tattoos and body art there. And they've got live music and performances by Jake Ryan and Big Sky Vibe, who was actually supposed to be on our show this morning, and he stood us up. Boo! Sorry about it, Jake Don't Ryan. go them. Uh, Levi Miller, <laughs> Fart, Vocab, Kilo and Baby Ritz, Frody, and Mas Mr. Prosper. Mr. Prosper. They've got a couple DJs. Uh, yeah, 10 bucks. Should be crazy time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What was that DJ? It was uh, uh, Nintendux? Jack Chatterbox, Chatterbox and Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo. No, Nintendo. Because Nintendo. Because ducks, yeah. like D E U X is duh. Yeah. That's apparently the universal word for <laughs> duh. 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 Uh, Badlander has got Absolutely with Chris Moon and Monte Carlo at 9. Joan Zen is at the Union Club at 9 30. 
Sunrise Saloon, or uh, 406 is playing at the Sunrise Saloon at 930. And then we've got Little Smokies nice. with Brant Farm at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. Yeah. So that's A lot of great on. stuff yeah. happening this weekend. A ton of stuff happening this weekend, as well as all those movies. So seriously, you guys, uh, it should be a beautiful weekend. It's a good chance for you guys all to get out. If you want to find out more information about anything I've talked about, check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, uh, the Independent, or the Missoulian. And they've got all the different events. But of course, yeah. uh, our computer is running slow, and I am going to hit um, the button now, and hopefully it'll transition. If it does transition, then I'll play the Flagship Friday video of the week. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Flagship Friday video of the week. And of course, this week, uh, it would, this was actually made by the kids by themselves. They had an adult supervision, but pretty much it was the older kids who know what they're doing. They used my little red Nikon camera, okay. and they made this really pretty cool movie. I added some music, uh, made it look as cool as I definitely could. Um, cool. And I think they did a really good job. It's uh, it's it's the story between nerds and popular kids. Yeah. It's just like insane and everything is going all over and so crazy. And then of course the nerds find a tool of ultimate power. <gasps> they must verse on the kids. Oh my god. I think it's a it's a really fun video. And of course, if we are not able to show it today, I will definitely show it to you guys online on our website. If you log on to our Facebook page, our Follow us on Twitter, yeah. and of course you could find us wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice that we made you spell it out twice. You can let also uh, check out Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCATTVMissoula. You can like MCAT at face on Facebook, and then to find out more information, MCAT.org. Without further ado, here's our movie. <laughs> Nerd. Just hanging with my friend. What friend? His friend. What do you want? I want you to cease to exist. Ooh, burn! <sighs> I need a volunteer. Me, 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 Dismissed. Really? It's okay, Hazel. Come out of the locker. I have a secret. A secret? What secret? I have unlimited power.
We'll be right back. Hazel's Bookstore. Buy. Buy some books. Well, you guys are going to have to wait and watch it online. We hoped that <laughs> it wouldn't come back. I, I was hoping like when I hit the button, it was going to come right we back. Thought, to, we not, had not, this all planned. Yeah. This, like, it has like a minute delay, but apparently it did not have a minute, a minute delay. delay. Okay, let's try it again. No. Uh, it. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Well, sorry, thanks guys. for joining the Flagship Friday video of the week. And without further ado, I want to say thanks for our guests, yeah. uh, Leah and Anna, for joining us this Telling morning us on our morning about, show. Yeah, that really, I had no idea that they even existed. And so that's such a, I just, it was a great interview. Thanks for being on our show, Leah. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, but for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And I'm Noel McAvoy. And, and here's, here's ASAP Matter <laughs> <Okay>. Take it <laughs> away, ASAP. <laughs>